I just want to show off the Raspberry Pi running Xbox Media Center. I'm running the Raspbian version. I just have a I have it just running off of the SD card. I know a lot of people run it off USB. Um, I have it plugged right into the network. It's real pretty here, just dangling, but it works for now. And I'm gonna dock this so you can see. turn everything on just by power. This is the standard Philips remote that came with his television. Philips then is smart enough to power on the sound system and the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi is connected with USB which is actually plugged in the back of the Philips television. So I can do all of the controlling through the Philips remote. And that's sent through HDMI to the Raspberry Pi. I'm just waiting for it to boot up here. I tried open ELEC but it kept freezing on me, so even though it's supposed to be lightweight, it seems to not work as well. So I'm just waiting for it to boot here. I have an option set that it reads the library every time it boots up, which actually I should probably uncheck, but I'm constantly adding new things. Max, lay down. Okay, so you can see it's scanning the content here. And once again, just with the normal remote, I'm able to control it. And that's just by pointing it to the television. And the television sends the infrared signal that it receives to the Xbox Media Center, or the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi has something called CEC, uh, Consumer Electronics Communications, I believe that stands for. And that makes all this very simple. And uh, there's a bunch of settings in there. You can do all kinds of things like pause it when you change sources. So if I were playing a movie and I, I changed to play a Blu-ray or watch Netflix, it would pause it automatically. So I'll go in and show, you can, you know, as you can see, it pulls automatically the information about the uh, movies, which is extremely handy. This will just play the movie. This is, a, I believe this this may be a 720p, but All right, uh, most movies I have are 1080p and it has no problem playing it. They are the H.264 codec. And you can do everything from, you know, skip through and seek through the movie. Um, City Island is a fishing village located in the Bronx, New York. And City I can, Island is distinct from the rest of the Bronx. By mute it if I can find the button on my remote. Yeah. So I can mute it. And it actually mutes the audio system, not the television. So it's extremely handy to, hand, to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I want to show you other interfaces. It's just amazing how much work people have put into this to make it look beautiful. So, as you can see, every movie, for the most part, every movie has a picture, and this is all downloaded through an automatic source. And you just point point the source. And uh, you know, I, I didn't customize this. This is just default for this certain movie. It reads the title of the file name, and it's uh, uh, knows where to pull the information. All of the video files are on a network drive on a desktop computer. And they play absolutely no problem. This, as you can see, um, we can probably see if we can get info on this. Um, it's 
So once this plays, I believe if I click again, we can pull more information. I will say that the infrared remote has limitations on what you can do. There's more, if you have a keyboard and mouse, you can do everything. Um, but you can do almost everything with the remote. So it's unnecessary to really use a keyboard and mouse. So you can see this is 1080p and 2.0 uh, surround, which I wish it were 5.1, but. I wanted to show off the tablet connected to the Xbox Media Center. This is just a standard remote, which let's see if I can show you that it does it does you know control it. You can do pretty much everything from here, even the keyboard. Um, what's even more interesting is you can pick your movies from here. So I can pick, I'll pick 310 to Yuma. Now you can kind of read about the uh, movie if this is what you want to play. And uh, if it is, you just hit the play button up here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you'll see it's queuing it up. Now, video is playing and you can sit down and enjoy, but I have more to show you. So, you can click back. Well, that is actually amazing. Um, if you click on the movie, I'm going to go here to the remote, or you can click on now playing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And, you know, read about the, or the uh, actors and actresses in the movie. And you can click on their name to go to the IMD page, which really is not important, but a very cool feature. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And I want to, uh, if, if I wanted to, you know, there's just so many buttons here, but, you know, home, uh, movies, this bring into the movie page. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is, let's see. See if this something I don't know what, what all will work, but there is voice. So let's see. Play two guns. All right. So now it's going to play two guns. Hopefully. Okay. So it's playing and. You know, it turns back into the remote. You, it does, you know, shift between the two. Now, this is what's really cool. I'm going to have Sarah call me. Let's see if this works. Yeah, go ahead and call me. I'm just holding my, my phone here. Now, that's my home phone, which rings at the same time. But if it rings on the cell phone here notice that it shows who's calling and it pauses the video and I will answer it hey Sarah thanks for calling me and now I'm gonna go and just hang up and when I hang up it'll resume the video and that is all automatic and because I have the application on my phone so I'm working on something so that I don't have to have the application and just whenever it rings it pulls up I gotta pause that, it's very loud. Anyway, that was the main feature. Something else I've just worked with here is uh, if I wanna go to movies and say it's you know about time for bed, but I wanna finish the movie, I can you know stick this headphone jack in, put that in and finish the movie, or I can start a new one right from my tablet. So I can click on Braveheart here, and I can click on the play with the mobile icon and what that'll do is let me to play the media on uh, my device. This application is free but to uh, enable the streaming it's five dollars which I pay the five dollars just because I think this application is outstanding. Now here's Braveheart.
playing on my tablet wirelessly through the Xbox Media Center. And it's very quick. Alright, thank you for watching.